Hello everyone, welcome to Thursday. Put some money in the bank so I can pay my car insurance for the month. So far, I'm still enjoying my uh, new Galaxy Note 9. Uh, initially, I was hesitant to upgrade, but uh, with being able to el being eligible to upgrade, I figured I'd take the chance. Because, I mean, I was looking at some of the new features in it and forward it to me. I know it's minor to most people, but plus the nice thing is it still has Samsung Pay. And I was able to use it to get to the uh, ATM inside of Chase. Because sometimes the stand doesn't always work to get in the vestibule um, as far as insert my card goes. So that's where Samsung Pay actually comes in handy. Inform you that this is a recorded line and this recording will be used as a switch up evidence inside the coach house. Okay. So now the reason we are contacting you as I said you before, because we have found any suspicious activities done on a social. And the investigation started when we found an abundant car on the south border of Texas. And the car contains some drugs, blood, and some drug and blood residues inside. And this entire paperwork has a name on it. Alright, so I'm home. Right now I'm just browsing around the internet, listening to different calls from other scam beaters. Seeing what this other scam is about. Uh, some people have said that they've resorted to a social security administration scam where they say your social security number has been uh, suspended. I want to see how this scam works before I go and mess with these people. Because I've heard of it before, what this scam is, but I don't know too much about it. So I'm watching a couple of videos and from what I can find out, they say that your car is rented out in Texas. If you don't know, sorry, not your car, but... They say a car is rented under your name. You have to give them your social security number to confirm. Even though they don't actually have one on file. They're just using it to get the information from you. But then they ask you to make a payment to remove the warrant. And that's a scam. So it's like a double whammy. They get the, the payment from the gift cards. And then uh, your identity with your social security number. So it's a pretty messed up scam, to say the least. I mean, this played really mildly, like really nicely. Probably don't want to curse too much for the vlog. And I'm also looking up uh, curse words in their language as well. Even though I, I wouldn't say they didn't understand me, but um, it's pretty funny listening to them get mad when they realize they can't scam you, really. So it's pretty much a goal. I mean, I try to get them riled up, and hopefully it makes them mad enough to where they have no patience for the next person, and that person realizes it's a scam. I'm trying to learn more about what to do, and there's really not much I can do. I mean, I know I'm doing my part and everything, which is great, but I mean, at least it's something to put, uh, at least a pause on their tracks anyways. But anyways, um... That's really all I got for today, so I'm just going to go ahead and end it here, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Later.